Hi, my name is Terry Pereira, and I'm from the Stewardship Committee, here to give this week's Stewardship Talk. Thanks for allowing me the time to do this. You know, this is a great week. We had a chance to have Thanksgiving celebrations with friends and family, and a great opportunity for me to think about the blessings and thanks that I have for our church, White Bear Lake United Methodist Church. As I, I think about that, so thankful for, you know, the friends and uh, members that have provided so much support to me and my family over the years. Um, just many great connections, again, personal support, and just generosity that's been given to my family in that time. My wife, Julie, and I were married here 28 years ago and raised our three kids, Emma, Joey, and Tom, here in the church. They are now grown and, and off doing their thing, um, but we you know, continue to, to share with uh, the family in our church and, um, and also um, Julie's family. So for those of you that don't know, and I'm sure many of you know, Mike and Marsha Faust are Julie's parents. And uh, you know, we are so glad that we can share this church with them as, as part of our family. So, you know, obviously Julie grew up with uh, great role models. Um, you know, I too come from a family that had uh, just strong faith and strong connection to our church when I was growing up. Uh, my parents were faithful supporters through volunteering, um, involvement in group ministries, and uh, my mom also participated in, in the music ministries at our, at our church um, for many years and, and many other activities. Um, again, you know, some, of the, some similarities, just uh, great connections and friends um, and support uh, that, that I continue to see even, you know, when my parents passed away, um, you know, recently. Um, my parents also supported their church through financial support, their, their giving, and that continued again after their, their passing away that there was still money there for the church. It meant that much to them. So, you know, back to the church, back to Thanksgiving, I just would say, you know, Julie and I, we are so privileged and blessed to be part of this community. Uh, this wonderful congregation, this wonderful church that prioritizes care and service for others. So when we reflect on what, you know, how do we support the church, it's a pretty easy answer. You know, we, we support through um, sharing our gifts, our, our talents to the church uh, where we can, um, and by sharing our financial gifts as well. You know, we see it as a chance, like our parents and many of you that are part of this, this congregation, to pay it forward. And you know, with that, we have many thanks. Now, on to the numbers from a stewardship campaign perspective. So as of Pledge Sunday, November 20th, so last week, uh, we had 125 pledge units. And that was against our goal of 200 pledge units. So we still have quite a, a way to go for many of our members to turn in their pledges. And certainly this is a, uh, a time of year where people are traveling and there's a lot going on. So, um, you know, encourage those who haven't made their pledges to, to get those in. So again, 125 pledges to our goal of 200. And from a dollar standpoint, we have received pledges in uh, $587,000. And again, that's uh, against a goal that we've been talking about of 900,000. So that too, we have a lot of room to go um, and work to do to, to get to our goal. Um, so again, thank you for your time. If you haven't pledged, please do so. If you're rethinking your pledge, Stewardship Committee would be happy to receive an updated pledge. If that is the case, please do so by turning in a pledge card and wish you and your family and hope that you had a wonderful Thanksgiving and a happy holiday season. Thank you.